Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another weekly, weekly vlog. Wow, great start. <laughs> I just wanted to um, come on here and talk over some of my reading plans for the week. And then we are also going to do my Owlcrate unboxing um, right after this. So it's going to be a very long intro. So stay tuned. If you guys are interested in seeing the Owlcrate unboxing, feel free to skip ahead. But I will be un unboxing my very first Owlcrate Junior Box, which is really exciting. So thank you so much to Owlcrate for giving me the opportunity to do that. But up first, let's talk about the books that I'm currently in the middle of, as well as the books I plan on reading for the rest of this week. So the only book that I, well, that's a lie. I'm in the middle of two books and I will talk about those two first and then I have some plans for the rest of the week. So I am currently in the middle of The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I am at the tail end of this book here. I have about 40 pages to go. Um, and I am so far enjoying this. I'm curious to see what the ending is going to be like. Um, this is a three-part series, so um, I'm really curious to see what they do at the end of this book and where it leaves off. I'm sure the cliffhanger is going to be something big, I'm sure, but I'm not really sure if I want to continue on with the series. I have enjoyed the first book enough to um, carry through, carry on with it, but it hasn't been my favorite read, um, and it hasn't really been due to the sci-fi aspects. That hasn't been what's what I'm not like loving about the book. I just don't tend to love um, the changing of perspectives and the characters um, particularly that much. So I'm hoping that I guess like, you know, maybe I'll give the second book a try and if I don't love it, then I just won't continue on with the third book, but we'll definitely see. But I, I plan on finishing that tonight. I am also in the middle of God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I am currently on page 50. I haven't gotten too far into this, but I did start this a couple of days ago. Um, I have to catch up because I'm, I'm now a day behind on my reading of this. I want to read about 50 pages a day to finish it within my allotted time frame that I have the audiobook left. I have nine days, well, seven days left on my audiobook, and I'm currently a day behind. So I have to read today's section as well as yesterday's section to catch up, and I plan on doing that as well tonight. And then the rest of these are just my plans for the rest of the week and books that I need to finish. So um, I have a um, a book club that I'm hosting with Brayden, um, well, co-hosting. He asked me to co-host for the month of January, and we're, we're reading Happily Ever Afters by um, Elise Bryant. This sounds really good, and I need to read this this week since our live show is on Sunday. So I will definitely be reading this this week. It's, you know, it's not a super long Book. It's a YA contemporary, so it shouldn't take me too long. And I do have the audiobook of this, so I'm hoping that that will go by quickly. I also have the audiobook of Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Cassandra, I swear I can talk. Cassandra Clare. Um, this is the last book in the Infernal Devices series, and this will be my audiobook going forward from tomorrow. So I will be finishing up this series, which I'm very excited about. I've heard that it's going to break my heart, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it, but I'm as ready as I'll ever be, so might as well just you know, do it. Um, but I only have seven days left to listen to this. So I'm going to power through that. And then I got approved for my audiobook of Into the Drowning Deep yesterday. So I'm going to pick this one up this week as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to read this at night because I'm sure I'm going to get quite scared and freaked out, but I'm going to give this a try and hopefully I enjoy it. Um, this is a horror book with LGBTQI plus representation in it. So I'm really excited for that. And um, that is pretty much it for my reading updates. As for what's left on my TBR that I still have to read, um, I still have to start End With Us by Colleen Hoover. I also have to start Legendborn by Tracy Dion, as well as um, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So those are the three books that are still left on my TBR that I haven't started. And then I also have Les Mis, which I think I'm honestly going to roll over into February because I have just not had the chance to pick this up again. So we'll see about that one. But... That's all the books I want to talk about. Let's talk about Owlcrate Jr. I am really excited that Owlcrate reached out to me this month and asked me if I would like to be a rep for Owlcrate Jr. as well. And of course, I said yes. So thank you, thank you so much to Owlcrate for allowing me to um, get all these boxes for review and show them to you guys because it has really been a blessing and just so fun to be able to do this for you guys. Um, and this will be my first month, like I said, with Owlcrate Jr. I have been an Owlcrate rep, um, since August, I believe, of last year, and I have loved the box that they sent, so I'm really excited to, um, open up a middle grade box. So, for the middle grade boxes, it is, um, obviously a middle grade book, an interactive, um, piece in the, in the boxes, as well as some bookish items, um, and it is, of course, all middle grade, and then there is a code in my description box below, I believe it's just Kaylani, um, for 10% off of your first box. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. I always have such a hard time opening these boxes, but oh, that one was quite easy. I like it. All right. So here is the um, spoiler pamphlet that they have here, and it looks like this particular month's theme is inner magic. 
um, which is really cute. I like this little design on here. I'm really interested to see what the book is going to be, but I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna spoil myself, but not, not that I would probably guess it anyways, but um, let's go ahead and see what's inside. I love this. Okay, in here we have these rainbow magic gel pens, and I actually have been looking for some gel pens for my bullet journal. So this is actually freaking perfect. I'm so excited that these were in the little box. Um, it looks like it comes with a set of... 20. I was I was about to count them, literally count them for you guys. But um, these are all of the colors. They just look very fun and colorful. It is a rainbow pack, so you have all the rainbow colors in there. Um, and I'm really excited to give these a try. I, I love a good gel pen, I'm not going to lie. And I'm a sucker for a little packs like this. So this is perfect. I love this. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, cool. We have the Riddles Tea Shop. Um, Lee, oh my gosh. <laughs> Leo Nora's Leo Nora's Magical Mischief Blend, and it's an Alcrate Junior exclusive. It looks like it has rose nips, um, natural caramel flavor, natural vanilla flavor, and cinnamon spice. It contains no caffeine, gluten free, nut sugar, and dairy free. And it just gives you the instructions on how to use it. It smells good. But I don't know if it's actually this or if it's something else in the box, but. It smells pretty good. I haven't really opened it, but I will definitely get some use out of this. Oh, that's what I'm smelling. Oh, yes, that's what I'm smelling. Um, we have a bath bomb. This is a whipped up wonderful elements bubble bar. Um, and with the bubble bars, you just break it under the water. You don't use the whole thing, but you break some of it under the water and it creates bubbles. And I love a good bubble bar, so I'm really excited to use this. And it smells delicious. It smells like blueberries and I don't even know, but it smells delicious and it's very cute. This reminds me of um, the stone from Moana, the Heart of Tefiti, te 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 Tahiti, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Okay, we have a You Are So, uh, the You Are So Awesome journal, Dare to Create Your Confidence and Maybe Even Change the World by Matthew Side. And it looks like it's an interactive book. Um, also, it looks like you have some coloring pages, just different things um, for interaction. And this is really freaking cool. Um, this is obviously made for kids, but I'm going to, I'm going to do this because I'm awesome too. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to live my best life and fill this all out because I'm excited like that. All right. It looks like the only thing that we have left is the book as well as the spoiler card for next month. So let's take a look. Okay. This is don't be scared. My little one, the clouds roll in and hide the sun but deep within our true light shine and keeps us safe in the darkest times that is really cute it's just like a little quote from james nicole um and i love this i will definitely be adding this to my little collage wall in my bedroom this is so cute and then i did see the book because i i pulled it out and it is very beautiful oh, oh no i'm dropping worms <laughs> no way there's a sticker in here <laughs> oh i'm in love <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, this is this little sticker that came in the, um, it was like in with the book, which is really awesome. And um, it looks like a little, like, almost like it reminds me of a Pokemon, but um, I'm assuming it's n not a Pokemon. Maybe it is. If, if anyone knows, please correct me. I do not watch Pokemon. But it's just like a really cute little animal and it says number 48. So that's really cute. All right, we have um, Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. And this looks freaking stunning. Like, hello, ma'am? <laughs> um, this is gorgeous. We also have a signed book plate. Um, that is going to go in the book that I, so I, I don't forget. And then the little front of this has a little picture of, I'm guessing, the main character, maybe her dad. Um, this is so cool. I'm really excited about this. Oh, it's really, it's really, um, it's really in there. <laughs> And then this is the um, outside of the book there. That is really gorgeous. I love the stars. It's written in gold on the side there. Let me figure out what this is about because that might be helpful, right? We also have a bookmark. And I believe um, this says, Do you have what it takes? The Bureau of Supernatural Affairs. Okay, cool. And then a note from the author as well um, with the book cover on the front. Okay, so this is about Amari who um, believes that her brother Quentin is alive, even though everyone in her life has told her that her brother is gone for good. But um, one day she is looking around her house and finds a ticking briefcase that um, hints to maybe her brother um, 
being a part of the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs. And so she is going to go to um, try out to be a part of this, but she learns that she has, there's a whole another world that she never even knew about, including fairies, aliens, and other supernatural creatures. So now she has to try to win this competition in order to become a part of the society. But um, everyone is basically against her because she is an outcast and um, her own magical powers that she ends up having is deemed illegal. And so she is now living in a world where she's basically the enemy trying to figure out what happened to her brother and get into these magical trials. So this sounds really good. This definitely gives me um, Jessica Townsend vibes, Nevermore, like to the to the max like i'm really excited for this i'm hoping that i really enjoy this and i love absolutely love the fact that there's a beautiful natural haired like gorgeous black man character on the cover of this book like we need more of this thank you thank you thank you i wish that when i was growing up i had books that i had books like this that had characters that look like me um on the front covers because i definitely didn't have this growing up so this is a huge huge awesome like step forward in the community i love seeing books like this i love seeing children's books middle grade books romance books adult books that have characters of color on the cover it's just beautiful so i'm gonna stop my rant there but i'm very excited about this book this cover is stunning it's blurred by angie thomas and nick stone and um you know jessica townsend talked about it on the back so you know win for me i'm in <laughs> all right let's take a look at the cover change so it looks like they went from a blue to a purple which i'm gonna have to say i love it i love it i love it i love it i love a good purple book i love a good book blue book but we are lacking in the how oh, i just hit myself we are lacking in the purple book section so i'm really happy about that um let's see if i'm missing anything else here Oh, yes. Let's talk about who did what. <laughs> um, the You Are So Awesome Journal is um, by Matthew Said and published by Sourcebooks. The mini gel pens were created by um, the Michelle Gray, um, which she does a lot of Alcrate stuff. Um, the, okay, I was, I was wrong. The, um, <laughs> the, um, Bubble Bar was actually inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender and was created by Whipped Up Wonderful the um mug was inspired by anna marino's love sugar magic series um and it was created by riddles tea shop and then the art print is um inspired by the apprentice witch and was created by lady chub letters um and then the, ma the magical sticker was designed by jessica sutherland so that is really exciting. Thank you so much to Alcrate for um, giving me an opportunity to review this box. And then the um, theme for next month is Write It Down. This is the February um, theme. And then the sneak peek is whether you're document documenting secret thoughts, working on a school assignment, or taking notes to solve a histor historical mystery, it's always best to write things down. Our February book is a captivating contemporary story with a supernatural puzzle that is sure to keep readers guessing with every twist. If you enjoyed Greystone Secrets, Mr. Jasper's June, or The Last Girls, this book is for you. Super awesome. Okay, so thank you again to Owlcrate for allowing me to review this box. I'm really excited for this book. This is going to probably go at the top of my list. I love a good middle grade story, and I definitely need to read more in 2021, so I'm really excited about that. Now that this long clip is over and you guys are done seeing my face, I'm going to go take off these clothes, put on some pajamas, relax, and finish up some of my books. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. doing well i am just about to get up and get changed for work i have been up for quite a while this morning i woke up at 8 30 and i just got some video stuff ready um watch through the video that's going up today it's just one of my weekly vlogs but of course if you guys want to check that out i'll leave that in the cards above um 
and I am now just having my coffee. I just finished my coffee. I was picking up um, Happily Ever Afters. This is Brayden's book club pick that I'm co-hosting for the month of January, and I really need to get this started since um, the live show is this Sunday, and I do want to get ahead of the game on this one. I don't plan on making this a huge priority during the week because I can go ahead and just binge it during the weekend. It is a YA contemporary, so I don't assume that it's going to take too long, but I do have some other thick, chunky books that are on my TBR that I really need to get finished. First being God's Grave, and secondly being... Um, Cloudwork Princess, which speaking of, this will be my audiobook for the day. I'm really excited to hop into this one. I'm not sure if I'm ready to get my heart broken, but I am really excited to see where the story goes and how Cassandra Clare will finish up the well, this series. Um, and then I will probably move on to Clock, not Clockwork, uh, Chain of Gold because Chain of Iron is coming out soon and I want to be able to um, get that book when it comes out because I might actually be on top of the game for something for once, which will be fantastic. So I'm just going to go get ready now and um, get ready for work, get my daughter ready. She's currently in her cone staring at me like, why'd you do this to me, mom? But that's okay, huh, baby? You still love me? I take fitness, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a morning update. I hope you're doing well and I will talk to you guys when I get off of work. Hi guys, so I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick update. Uh, I know I talked to you guys this morning, but I don't know if I gave you guys an update on Happily Ever Afters. I think I did. I'm currently on page 30 excuse me, 31. I was just listening to this while I was cleaning up my living room. And um, so far, so good. I don't really have any particular feelings towards it. It, it literally just started. So I'm not too, you know, not, not too many things to say about that one. But I did pick up uh, Clockwork Princess while I was at um, on my way home from work today. And I'm on page 62. Um, let me just say, I freaking love this bookmark. It is so cute. It's one of those that um, wraps around on the inside. And then you have like this cute little design on the outside. I got this from work, but if I can figure out um, the small business name um, for the company that does these, I will leave it in the description box below because she makes really cute bookmarks and different things like that. So, so cute. I'm like in love with this thing. But um, yeah, I'm on page 62. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm like nervous to see how the rest of this series is going to end out because I have a lot of questions, but I also have a lot of feelings and I know my heart is going to be broken. So I'm not ready. I'm ready, but I'm not ready. <laughs> and that's the only reading updates I have right now. I am going to just go um, like kind of relax for like five, 10 minutes, but I'm going to finish up some chores that need to get done around the house. And then I'm going to sit down and do some reading, but I also have to film a video today that, you know, I, I talked about in my last vlog I slacked on. Unfortunately, I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I was supposed to um, upload my stats video um, at the beginning of the month and I filmed it and then I ended up accidentally deleting the footage. So now I have to refilm all that. So yep, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a little afternoon update and I will talk to you guys when I have something more fun to say. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update in regards to some books that I brought home today. But if you guys can hear my dishwasher going on in the background, I apologize. Cleaning the house is, you know, all a part of the weekly things. So. Um, I just wanted to pick, show you guys the ones I picked up today. Um, the first one being The Running Dream by Wendelin Van Drannen. And I am buddy reading this with Gabriel, um, one of my friends and subscribers. Um, we are buddy reading this next month, so I picked myself up a copy. I also picked up um, Confess by Colleen Hoover. Uh, I got I got pulled in by the cover and the fact that it was Colleen Hoover. So here we are again with another Colleen Hoover, even though I haven't read any of her books yet. Um, I also saw this used copy of Dash and Lily's Book of Dares come in, and I've heard, you know, mixed reviews about this book, but I wanted to give it a try since um, there is a Netflix adaptation, and I figured I would watch that. And the next two books I have are part of an upcoming video that I have going on. I have oops, The Daughter by Jane Schmilt and um, Sex and Vanity by Kevin Kwan. So you guys know, you know, you probably know what that video is going to be about. I have one other book in already that I already own that's going to be for that video as well. But, um... Yeah, so um, that's all. I, that's all I'm gonna share with you guys for now. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know what I brought home. I'm going to add these into my spreadsheet, and we're gonna go from there. So, I just wanted to let you guys know. I will talk to you guys later. In case you wanted to do, know what an emotional person looks like, this is it. <laughs> I'm watching a movie that I already know how it ends and how it begins, and I'm only 16 minutes in and I'm already crying. Somebody please explain. <laughs> don't ask me why. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But um, in case you've never seen an emotional person in her natural habitat, you're welcome. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm just going to give you guys an update for the night. Um, it is currently 11.26 in the evening, and um, I just finished um, filming, editing, um, and now I'm currently uploading the video that's going up tomorrow, which is my 2020 stats. Coming to you guys very late, but better late than never. Um, but now I'm going to sit down and listen to God's Grave. I need to read my um, portion of my reading today. I'm hoping to make it to bed by like 12 30 because i would like to wake up early again tomorrow so that is the plan for tonight but it's currently i'm currently uploading the video to my photos and then i'm going to upload it upload it to youtube then i have to do all the thumbnail stuff and everything like that so i don't know what exactly what time i'm going to make it to bed but cross our fingers that it's not extremely late but um yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update i read i listened to a little bit more of um clockwork princess when i was doing some of my editing process but i don't know how far i am into it now Looks like I was originally on chapter three and now I'm on chapter four. So let's take a look. All right, I'm currently on page 95 of um, Clockwork Angel or Clockwork Princess. What am I reading? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where I'm at now. I read about probably like 20 pages while I was sitting there listening to it um, while I was editing. So now I'm gonna listen to God's Grave, try to get through some of that. And I will talk to you guys when I have some updates. I can help you out. I can help you out. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. It's currently nine o'clock I'm in the morning on Wednesday and I am just sitting down to actually start some reading this morning. I did wake up at about 8 30 but I spent the first 30 minutes responding to some comments that I was I needed to catch up on and um, I wanted to give you guys an update since I did read a little bit more last night. I just didn't talk to you guys about it. So let's put my coffee down before I spill it. Um, I did read some more of Clockwork Princess. I read up to page 94. Um, I was just listening to this while I was doing some editing of the video that's supposed to be going up today. So that's good. And then I also read a little bit of um, God's Grave and I am now on page 124. So my goal is to get to about page 160 today before I leave for work. Um, and then I will read some more of this when I come home just so I can catch up because I am a little bit behind on my reading of this. So that's my my plan for the morning. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm going to um, drink my coffee and read my book and um, I'm going to hop in the shower at about 10. So I have an hour to read, which is amazing. I, I love waking up early to get some reading in, if, if that's anything, because I'm not a huge morning person, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make a schedule. <sighs> Cross your fingers for me that I don't drop dead in the middle of the day. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Just
only telltale sign that my daughter's laying with me. Her one little paw. Look at hers. She's so cute. <laughs> Alright, I would put you on my tripod, but Bailey's currently sleeping and I don't want to wake her. But um, I just finished my section of God's Grave for today. Well, not for today, for the morning. I definitely will read more when I get home. It is getting so good. I am currently on page 165. 160. Yeah, 165. And <clears throat> the twists and turns in this book are just giving me whiplash because you think you know one thing and then you know, and we just have we have so much stuff that's going on. And can I just say that Jay Kristoff is a master at world building because like I, I guess I didn't really notice it when I first when I read the first book but now like sitting down and like taking notes on the second book it's just like it's just so like well put together because like um in the this book has footnotes if you guys didn't know um but it has footnotes and so in the footnotes there's a lot of like world building sections some of them are just like um the author breaking the fourth wall and talking to us like he's reading the book to us which I love but a lot of it is just world building and it's like almost unnecessary but to the point where you think like how much time went into putting these stories the backstories in and making sure they all connect because every single time it's something different and new but they all make sense together and so the time and and detail that it must have taken to put this together and make it all connect and work like so good so good. I'm really enjoying this. I do have a um, favorite quote from the book already. I wrote it down in my um, my reading journal. Um, if you guys didn't know, I created a little reading journal where I just uh, keep my little notes about books in there um, aside from my bullet journal. But I will say this the quote because it's hilarious and it made me laugh. And it's just like the epitome of like what this book is. But I will put spoilers on the screen because it is indeed a spoiler. So um, if you guys don't want to hear it, feel free to skip ahead but um let me find it so <laughs> um we're talking with um mercurio and jess ashlyn and mia and mercurio asks J jasmine um asks Ash ashlyn what happened to jessamine and mercurio says and you're responsible for it and ashlyn says if it makes you feel any better just stab me first ashlyn shrugged i just stabbed her last and repeatedly <laughs> like the, the snark, the snarkiness, the the amount of passive aggressiveness that is in this book just makes me laugh to the utmost degree. And I, I'm just having a great time. I'm having a great time and it's great. <laughs> so, um, so far I think it's my favorite quote of the month. Is that weird? I just love it. it whatever. Um, but now I'm going to go take a shower and get ready to go to work. <sighs> um, if it's a slow day, I'll get off at three. If it's a busy day, I'll get off at five. But we'll just have to see how it goes. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the only update you're going to get from me for now. I'm gonna have to wake up my daughter and she looks so cute I'm, I'm sad to do it but it's time to go get ready <laughs> hey guys I just wanted to come on here and say hello it is currently the afternoon now on Wednesday it's a 3 49 I literally just got home from work and I just wanted to give you guys a quick book update as well as some books I picked up from the store today I keep telling myself I'm gonna do better I'm not gonna bring home so many books and then I fail every month every single month but um I picked up no exit by Taylor Adams I've heard really good things about this mystery so I wanted to pick it up and give it a try um I believe uh, this has to do with a person that's at a rest stop and they see a child lock in the back of a car and so that they know that one of the people at this rest stop has kidnapped the child. They just don't know who. So that sounds really good. I also picked up The Chosen. Um, it's book 15 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Obviously, I'm only on number five, but I saw this hardcover and I just I couldn't pass it up. So I snagged this one. And then, as for book updates, I did read um, Clockwork Princess on my way to and from work, and I am now currently on page 166. So, I am making my way through this, and every time I see this bookmark on this book, it just gives me all the feels, and I love it, okay? I love it. So, those are my book updates. I am just going to um, open up my iPad, respond to some comments from today's video, um, do some bullet journal planning, and go from there. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So this is definitely not something I show on my channel very often, but I figured since I'm doing it, I might as well show you. Don't mind my very dirty stove. I need to clean it. But I'm currently boiling some chicken and putting some beans on to just warm up. That looks really gross, by the way, but I swear it'll taste good in the end. Um, and then I also made some fresh guacamole in there um 
So yeah, I'm gonna make chicken enchiladas, no, no, chicken tostadas. <laughs> and that's what's going on in these little two sections here. And um, that's what I'm doing. I'm not reading, I'm just cooking. So I will talk to you guys when I'm done eating. Hi friends, I am just giving you my last update for the night. I am just finishing up my reading for uh, God's Grave for today. I am currently on page 227. So I definitely read a ton of this book today um, since I read it this morning and as well I read some more tonight. But I am really enjoying this. I definitely like this more than the first book. Um, like I think I just have like, more of a handle of the footnotes and the... Um, just the way that J. Kristoff writes, his writing style, I've just gotten a lot more used to it. And the romance in this book, I was not expecting that. Like, of all the things that I thought was going to happen, this wasn't it. I was like halfway through and I'm like, okay, who the, who's the love interest going to be? And I'm like, I did not expect it at all. Like, until like the last couple of hints, I was like, oh dang, he's really going to do that. So I am excited about this. I'm really excited to finish this up. I have to say that I was I was really nervous to pick this back up, especially since reading the first book, because I knew how hard it was to get through and how hard it was to read. Not that it wasn't enjoyable, it was just the world building is a lot, the language that they use in here is a lot, it's just, it's a lot. But I am fucking enjoying this so much. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to continue to read that. And I think that's all I have in regards to reading updates. I'm going to try to get a little bit further into... Um, clockwork princess tomorrow but in the morning when i wake up i'm going to be reading happily ever afters just to get a good ways into that um since i have to finish it in a couple days so that's it that's the only updates i have i'm just gonna um update goodreads and i'm going to head off to bed i'm actually going to bed early today for for once so that's awesome i will talk to you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is currently tea time i'm making my husband some tea and then i'm going to steep my uh my tea my, it's actually um, this Owl Crate tea is the one I'm using today. The one I got in my Owl Crate box. It's the Lenora's Magical Mischief Blend. Um, I'm gonna give this one a try, and I'm steeping it inside of this, um, Addie LaRue, um, mug. Well, uh, tumbler. And it's the, this is actually the one that I got from Owl Crate, um, in the special edition Owl, Addie LaRue box. But I'm gonna make myself some tea. I'm gonna steep it for about four minutes, four to five minutes, and I'll let it steep in there. My husband is just gonna have a tea bag and some honey, but um, I'm making that for him right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna drink some tea and then I'm gonna sit down and do a book update in just a second. I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right Your dark hair because I saw This is the moment of truth Let us see How said steeping went Was that all the water I put in there? Hello? Oh, I guess it's still coming out. Well, this is anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, get back to you guys with an update. All right, now that you've seen the amount of impatience I have for tea steeping, uh, I my glass is like half full. I have tea leaves everywhere, and um, needless to say, patience is virtue and I don't have any. <laughs> so let's talk about some books. I put you up on the tripod because I need two hands for this, but reading update. I read some more of Clockwork Princess today and I am currently on page 248 and I am really enjoying this. My heart, my little heart is just a, a little bit broken, just a little bit. Um, thanks Cassie for uh, doing that, but uh, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's been a good read so far. The neighbor's child is back by the way, so you guys hear those sounds? So, sorry, nothing I can do about that. But um, anyways, loving this. Cannot wait to continue on reading this. Hopefully I can finish this this weekend, but we'll cross our fingers for that one. Also, I picked up Lock Every Door by Riley Sager today. Uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't let it go. Uh, I came in and I was like, I need it. So I bought it. And then I picked up this book called Magic 
Dark and Strange by Kelly Powell. And um, this is a short book. It's just under, well, it's not just under, it's 199 pages. It's really short. It's a fantasy book about um, this girl who is able to awaken the dead um, until she gets tasked with finding this timepiece. But instead of finding a timepiece, she finds a dead human, a dead human boy who ends up becoming undead, but not like the ghostly undead, like an actual undead human being, human teenager. And um, she has to figure out how to um, understand why these two things are connected, the timepiece and the undead teenage boy. And they, she has to figure it out before they all die. So it just sounded good. It's a short little fantasy book. And I, the cover, the, the synopsis, I got sucked in. So there you go. Those are, those are two books I picked up today. A book I'm currently reading. I did not wake up early enough today to um, do any reading of any sort. So I definitely need to read my section of God's Grave today. And I would like to get some of Happily Ever Afters read, but I had to film two videos today. Well, I had to film one video and I'm feeling like filming a second video. So we will see about that. I'll see how much stuff I can actually get done tonight. But that is the only update I have. I would, I would give you an update on the tea, but I'm trying to not burn my face off. So I'll wait on that and I'll give you guys an update when I, when I drink it. So all the tea leaves in it. This is why I don't like loose leaf tea because I can never figure out how to not get the tea leaves in the cup. Not, not in the cup. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you know? I don't know. I don't even know if I know. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just giving you guys an update from my couch in double chin action. It's gonna be great. But um, I haven't done any reading. I filmed two videos and I am currently editing, well, I just finished editing a video from my job. My boss has now started a um, YouTube channel for um, local authors as well as my coworker is doing like little children's reading time. So um, I just finished editing one of those videos and it took me a little bit longer than I thought that it was going to because it was a longer video. But now I am just sitting down about to edit the video that's going to go up tomorrow for my channel. And um, I was going to finish editing the other story time that I have but it's already midnight and I am tired and I just want to finish this up. So I'm going to quickly add in my vlog footage from um, today just to make sure that it's in the vlog and I don't have to worry about it. And then I'm going to edit my video, which is only a 10 minute video, so it shouldn't take me too long. I'm going to get it up, do a thumbnail, do all that fun stuff, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm very tired. And I will wake up early in the morning to do some reading and relax. So that's the plan. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Good morning, friends. It is currently Friday morning at 8.30, 8.38. Uh, I have figured out that 8.30 is my sweet spot, um, especially if I take melatonin the night before. I cannot wake up any earlier than 8.30. I tried waking up at 7.30 this morning, and it was a no-go. So, um, I'm one of those people that, like, if I wake up through an alarm, like, the first time and I go back to sleep, I always end up feeling more tired, but I was just so exa exhausted at 7.30, like, I just couldn't do it. So, I'm feeling pretty groggy this morning, but I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I have a video stuff, I have some video stuff that I need to finish this morning, and then I want to do some reading. So, that is the plan for this morning. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do some video stuff, create a thumbnail, get everything ready for the book club announcement video, and then I'm going to do reading. So, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. But first, before we do any of that, it is coffee time. Coffee is necessary today. I am exhausted. So, I'm gonna do like a non-flavored one this morning. I'm just gonna go with Stormio and stick it in there. This button never works on the first try. I don't know why, but I had to push it like 18 times before it actually goes, so I pushed it. Now three times, hopefully it'll start. I'm gonna go get my creamer, drink some coffee, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Wait up. Bailey, are you cute? <laughs> Take you there, like it was the first time. Do you remember? Can I take you there? Back to when we felt like this was forever. Can I take you there?
per usual, I am planning while I talk, um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update before I head off to work. I did not get the chance to read this morning. Um, I spent quite a bit of time on Discord this morning just chatting with a lot of you guys and um, doing the video stuff that needed to get done for this morning. So that is taken care of. I'm just going through and I'm filling up my bullet journal, making sure that I have everything filled out currently. It's been a busy morning, a productive morning, and I still have some stuff I need to get done today when I get home from work. Hopefully I get off at three. Um, that would be ideal, but um, alas, that has not been the case so far. So, all right, I am just going to actually take my bullet journal with me to work. I have a couple things that I'm going to try to print out. Um, I need to print out my um, monthly book club picks for the first three months since that video is going up today. I also would like to print um, something else. I forgot, but I need to print one more thing and I don't remember what it is. So I will, uh, I will keep you guys updated for now, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only update I have. My husband should be home in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to put my dog away, um, head off to work and hopefully have enough time to stop by the breakfast place to grab something quick because I don't have time to make myself something now. So that's my update. I will talk to you guys when I get home from work. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine going, but, um, you know. Uh, so I wanted to give you guys an update on Clockwork Princess. I am currently on page 327 and I am more than halfway through. I have a good chunk of this book read and I'm really, really enjoying this. This book is so sad. It's like breaking my heart. I haven't cried yet though. So, but, uh, I don't really know. I think it's because I knew, I know what's going to happen. I spoiled myself on accident, um, with like how this book ends. And so with what's happening right now, it's like, it's sad and I know it's sad, but it's not as, as sad because I know, I know what happens in the end. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm trying to be very vague for those of you guys that have not read this and still want to read it, but I am really, really enjoying this. I'm hoping to finish this soon, but this book is chunky. Like this is a big ass book. And so I still have... See, I still have quite a few, quite a few pages left. That's a good chunk of a book there. So I don't know, who knows when I'll be able to finish it. Hopefully by this weekend, that is the goal, but I still have to read this entire book before Sunday. So send help basically is what I'm telling you, send help because I need to finish this like ASAP. So uh, I do have a long commute to a birthday party for my little cousin um, tomorrow. And that should give me a good amount of time to listen to this via audiobook i wanted to listen to this one via audiobook but alas this one has to get read by sunday so herein lies the issue anyways besides the point that's it that's the only updates i have i um i'm going over to my dad's house in a little bit to go hang out with my dad and my little siblings and my grandma and uh that's it. That's all. I, I just keep saying that's it. That's it. Hi guys. I hope you're doing well. I am just about to sit down and do some just like, uh, you know, fun organizational stuff. Um, I just opened my monthly owl crate box and there was a pin flag in there. So I'm going to be, um, moving over the pins that are on my, um, book sleeve as well as <laughs> all of these pins onto my book flag. I really had no place to put these pins, so they've just been sitting around looking sad and lonely. So now I have a place to put all of these. I have a few special edition pins. I have a few um, just regular owl crate pins. I have some pins from uh, when I was getting um, real bookish boxes. So yeah, this is really cool. I really am so glad that I got this. I'm gonna take a look at this and use that. And then I also, in the owl crate box, we got like a letter one of those like letter boards. So I'm gonna take off all of the letters and put them in this little pouch um, because that's the pouch came with it. And so I'm gonna pop in an audiobook and do that while I um, while I just chill. I, I have to get some reading done tonight. So I figured I'll do that while I do this. And um, that's my plan for the night at least. I think I'm gonna listen to God's Grave because I'm a little bit behind. And I'll have some extra time to read um, Happily Ever Afters tomorrow. So that is my plan. I just wanted to give you guys an update, keep you in the loop. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit.
I'm doing my last update of the night. It is currently 2.49 in the morning. Yeah, uh, I don't, I didn't mean to stay up this late, but I finished this book. Basically, that's what I was doing. I was sketching out my bullet journal so that I can get ready to do a plan with me video and listening to my audiobook. I finished up the last, like, 40 pages physically, but, um, needless to say, this was amazing. Yeah, this is a five star. Uh, the first book was, like, a 4.5 for me. This one killed it. Okay? It was so, it was so good. It was so good. The characters, the writing, the, the twists and turns, the betrayal, the, it, oh, it was just filled with so much questioning the entire time. And it's like, you follow different perspectives throughout this book. You mostly follow Mia's perspective, but you do get different perspectives here and there. But every time you think you know something, you just don't. You just don't know it. It just comes right around to just make you question every freaking thing. And it was so good. It was so good. I really enjoyed this. I cannot wait to move on to the third book. I think I need to get like more cohesive thoughts about what I really loved about this book. And I will of course wrap this up at the end of this vlog, but I was impressed. Very, very impressed. And I'm, I'm so excited for book number three, which I do own. So I need to read it like ASAP. I'm going to bed now because I'm tired. Good night. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're doing well. It is currently, well, it's almost afternoon. It's 11.55 in the morning on Saturday. I am just about to go um, to the store and then go to my um, cousin's birthday party out in Moreno Valley. So quite a far drive. It is currently raining, so fun times. But um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update in regards to my life, I guess, because um, I don't really have any reading updates. But um, I think I've worn this sweater in every vlog for the past three weeks. So if you've been watching my vlogs, I apologize for my lack of shirt content, but uh, it's cold, the sweater's warm, hence the sweater. Anyways, regardless of the point, I will be reading um, Happily Ever Afters on my way to and from um, the party. So I should get a good chunk of this red, seeing as I will be driving for quite a while. Um, and then I also did some planning today. So... I am really, really excited. Um, I Last night I sat down, and I didn't really mean to do this, but I ended up sketching out my entire ah, February spread. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of like the pencil sketchings, because um, I still have to film a video on this, but um, I'm really excited for it. I'm going to be doing like a, a floral theme for February, and I think it's gonna turn out really, really cute. Um, and I did like all of my weeklies and everything like that. So I will be filming that video I think either tomorrow or on Monday. I have it set up in my schedule already. My entire filming schedule for the next week and a half is already set. So you guys will be having some fun content coming to you guys like ASAP. Um, and then I, I didn't show you guys, but I actually set up my um, book club picks for the month, well, the months. Um, so each book club pick will go in here and then I'll put my ratings. That way I can track this over the rest of the year. But um, I ended up really liking this spread. I drew a little book with some with a gold spine. I don't know why I did that, but it ended up looking cute with a couple of pictures. So, I mean, stickers. Um, and then I have a video that I need to film soon because I'd like to put all these books away, but it involves um, these books. So my, my life's kind of a mess at the moment, but 
um, make, I'm gonna make some coffee, go to the store, grab a gift for my cousin, and then I'm gonna go to my party. So I just wanna give you guys an update before I head off because I probably won't talk to you for another couple of hours. So um, that's my only update. I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys, just giving you guys an update. I am now home. Um, I went to the party that I had from earlier and it was fun. It was in Moreno Valley. It was just a far drive, but I did get a lot of reading done, which is great. I also have acquired some new tattoos. You wanna see? I feel like a cool kid. I have a little bit peep tattoo and a little other Toy Story tattoo. I, I don't know. I've never I've never watched like all of the Toy Story movies, so I don't know who these people are, but I got new tattoos. I mean, aren't those great? Um, <laughs> but reading update, I have read some of Happily Ever Afters, and I'm on page 194. Uh, I'm not like loving it. I love the fact that this rep the representation in this book is done really well. Um, I'm really enjoying the um, like the talk about you know um, being a black woman and hair and just different like things that black women go through on a general everyday basis and I like those things. However, I'm not really like in love with the actual storyline. Um, this is like a girl who is going to a special school for creative writing. Her mom ended up submitting her application for her and she ends up getting in because they obviously think that she's a good enough writer, but she spends this entire book like basically devalidating herself and saying that she's not good enough to be in the school. She doesn't belong. Um, she doesn't know how to write. And then when she gets in, she ends up getting into a huge um, stint of writer, writer's block. And as soon as her first day starts, she's not unable to write anything. So her and her best friend come up with a plan to turn her life into a happily ever after. And that will help stir her creative juices. That sounds gross. Anyways, <laughs> ew. Anyways, um, that basically ends up becoming like the storyline. She's trying to get with this one guy, but then she also might have feelings for her neighbor named Sam. And <clears throat> I just, I don't care for the guy that she is going for right now. Um, I prefer Sam so much more, but I, I don't know. I'm just not like loving the actual storytelling. I think the main character is a little bit juvenile. This is a YA book. So maybe this is just like not for me, this particular one. I do enjoy YA contemporaries. I think they're really cute. And I can usually write off the really um, young and you know, like high school things, but I feel like her mindset is very juvenile and she's not giving herself room to grow as a, as a writer or she's, she's not able to take constructive criticism. She hasn't learned anything in this process and it just feels very meh. So I'm not loving it, but I'm reading it. So I do have some other, up uh, some other things to talk to you guys about. I went to Target today to buy a gift for my uh, cousin and I picked up some things while I was there. I picked up these Valentine's Day stickers because I thought they were really cute and I can definitely use them in my bullet journal. I also was walking by and I saw these really co cool colored um like circle stickers that I can use in my bullet journal for um planning and stuff. I like these a lot and I think I will get a lot of use out of these. I also picked up these little heart ones. I think these are really cute. Um I will definitely use these for February and then I picked up a couple of other what other um books that are centered around black um, main characters because I need some more books that offer that and they were all on sale. So I picked this one up. I picked up um, Black Brother, Black Brother by Jewel Parker Rhodes. Um, Black Enough. This is an anthology. And then we have um, Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. So um, I'm really excited to have some more books on my shelves that have some black representation, which is awesome, and then written by black authors as well. So yay for that. Um, I just got home, so I'm going to figure out what I need to do in my planner. Um, I think I had a couple of things I wanted to edit today. Um, it's six, it's seven o'clock, so I have a little bit of time to do all the stuff that I wanted to, but we'll see what I'm able to get done. Um, yeah, I have a couple of things that I need to edit. So hopefully I will be able to get all of that stuff done, but I will keep you guys updated when I do some more stuff and hopefully give you something exciting to say because I nothing right now is very exciting. <laughs> One more thing that I forgot to mention is I picked up these two um, Function of Beauty uh, shampoo and conditioner. I saw these at Costco and I've heard quite a bit about Function of Beauty, so I thought I would give them a try. I'm almost out of my other shampoo and conditioners that I have in there, so I wanted to give these a try. These are for coily hair, which I do have, so I figured maybe these will help me tame my hair a little bit because it is quite quite the beast. <laughs> we'll just say that. But um, anyways, I wanted to see how these worked, so I like the colors on these too. These are really cute. But anyways... That's the last update I have for you guys. I'm going to get some reading done and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. 
Hi friends, I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready to do a live show with Brayden in about 30 minutes, but I wanted to give you guys a reading update. So, um, yesterday I was reading Happily Ever Afters by um, Elise Bryant for the book club um, pick for Brayden's book club, and I just finished it this morning. Well, needless to say, I didn't like it. Not that I didn't like it, I just, there were so many things about this book that made me so frustrated that by the time I got to the end, I just didn't feel like it was a worthwhile book. I ended up giving this a two star, a two and a half star, but on Goodread, I rated it as a two star. I just, it was so frustrating. The entire book, pretty much, like, the first, like, hundred pages, maybe, I was like, okay, like, this could be cute, and then we, like, got further into it, and it was just so frustrating. The character was just so self-sabotaging and so frustrating, and just doing all of the wrong things and making all of the wrong decisions, and I have read a ton of YA Contemporary last year, and I had no problem connecting with the characters, even though it isn't set in high school. Like, I just don't have any problem with that. I love books set in high school. I think they're so much fun, and so I don't think that that is the reason why I didn't enjoy this book. I just feel like it just wasn't done super well. That's all. That's it. Um, I did like the fact that the character was black, and so there was a lot of things that she talked about that I was very, um, I was able to relate to, I would say that. But aside from that, like, it just wasn't fantastic. It, it was a debut novel, so, like, I feel bad rating it so low for a debut novel, um, knowing that, you know, this author will probably get better with time. It just, I don't know, the execution of this book just didn't work out the way that I wanted it to, and I was just expecting more, um, from a romance well it's supposed to be a romance centered novel and i didn't really get that happily ever after at the end i don't know it just didn't feel i don't know it just didn't feel right <laughs> i don't know that's all i keep saying i don't know but i, I really just don't know I, I wanted to like it and i just didn't so anyways i'm gonna eat really quick and then hop on to the live stream and get ready to stream with Braden. so i will talk to you guys in a little bit all right guys it is currently 12 44 at night and i am just about to go to bed but i wanted to give you guys an update um I will close out this vlog tomorrow. I have a ton of stuff I would like to talk to you guys about in regards to all the books I read, but I do have a reading update. I picked up um, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover tonight, and I am on page 160, 160, 160, and um, I'm really enjoying it. It is very sad. I've already cried a couple of times. Like, oh man, it's just, there's some hard topics talked about here. There's some trigger warnings for sexual assault, um, uh, domestic domestic abuse um death of a family member uh blatant rape it, it was just oh, it's just a lot but it's so good it's like flipping between like really sad and like really romantic and it's kind of hard to like you know like bounce back kind of getting whiplash but i'm not opposed to it it's really good and i'm really enjoying it um so i'm excited to see how this ends there's a there's a love trial what a love triangle brewing and I'll have questions so anyways yeah i'm really really excited to finish this because i'm i might be a, a colleen hoover fan after this because wow the writing in here is so good Ugh, i like it so anyways i'm gonna go to bed because i'm really tired and i have to wake up early tomorrow so i will talk to you guys tomorrow hi guys happy tuesday afternoon i'm just coming on here to close out this vlog and just talk over the books that i read as well as the book i'm currently in the middle of and um if you guys are interested in seeing how the rest of my January goes, feel free to st stay tuned for next week's vlog. But as for the books that I was able to read, um, I think the first book that I finished was The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. Um, I I like, liked it. It was okay. I gave this a three star, I believe. Um, it was, wasn't the best bet. Best bet. <laughs> wasn't the best book I've ever read, but um, it was okay for, for sci-fi. I didn't care for the romantic aspects of this book. And... Um, I felt like the story storytelling was a little bit juvenile in places, but other than that, I um, enjoyed where the story went. I would be I would be interested in picking up the second book, but if I don't end up loving the second book, I don't think I will continue with the last one and finish out the series. Um, anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts for this. I, I, I liked it. It wasn't the best thing I ever read. It wasn't the worst thing I ever read. Um, I was surprised by how much I wasn't com overly confused by the sci-fi aspects, but I felt like they were very palatable and very um, digestible, so that's probably why, but that's the first book I read <clears throat> and then I read and finished God's Grave by um Jay Kristoff and I really really enjoyed this I gave this a five star I liked this book so much more than the second than, than the first one <clears throat> and the second book just it took the first book and brought all the same things that I liked and enjoyed about the first book and took it and just ran with it built it up by 5,000 and then just added some really awesome aspects of this book that I absolutely loved <clears throat> There is some LGBTQI plus in this book, which was fantastic. So much betrayal, so many things that you just, you think that you know, and then you don't, you realize that you didn't know what you were thinking at all. And 
J. Kristoff is just like a master at world building and it just it just worked. It was so well done and I'm so glad that I read it. I cannot wait to finish out the trilogy and read the third book because if it's anything as good as the first and the second one, I'm really excited to read the third one. And the last book that I finished this week was um, Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant. Unfortunately, I didn't end up loving this. I gave this book a um, two star. I think that it could, oh, it's a two and a half, but on Goodreads, I rated it a two. <clears throat> um, I just think that this could have been executed a lot better. I liked the premise of the book. I liked, I liked the YA contemporary romance aspect of this, but it didn't really feel like a romance. It felt more like a contemporary, even though it's pitched as a romance. And this is supposed to be about a writer and there wasn't much writing going on in this book. It's just everything that I really expected from the book, I didn't really get. So unfortunately, um, it just wasn't a win for me, but um, I will definitely give this author another try. This is her debut book. So I will definitely see if the books from here improve. Um, but I'm happy that I read it because it had some really awesome representation in here. Um, the main character is black as, as well as the author is black. There's also some representation for um, cerebral palsy and then one of the characters in here is gay so some great representation it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to so sad about that but I'm glad that I read it and then the book that I'm currently reading is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare uh, I have 20 pages left I'm almost done with this book I'm going to finish it in next week's reading vlog so stay tuned for that but I was listening to the audiobook on my way home and then we got we got to the epilogue and I knew that I wanted to finish out this book physically so I waited on the epilogue which is 20 pages so I'm going to read this and probably cry my eyes out but um that's it that's the only updates I have left for you guys I just wanted oh I forgot I also read <laughs> An End With Us by um Colleen Hoover I'm currently halfway through this book and I'm really enjoying this one as well I'm excited to continue to read this I will probably um finish this up like today or tomorrow so again stay tuned if you want to hear more more thoughts on that one but that is the end of this video I really hope that you guys enjoyed it uh if you did make sure to give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and of course leave any comments questions and suggestions in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video bye